In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mask out of more than one sew zone. The only difference will be is I'm using my mouse where you would be using the Anova sew head, right handle, green button, which is your place button. You can push as many points as you like to create the region that you want to mask out of. You're using your sew head, I'm using my mouse. Let's begin. I'm going to come to generate edge to edge. And there you go. I am going to come back to Stretchy Man and I'm going to grab the two rows that fit within my sew zone. Right click, group. Now I'm going to come, and you can see that they're one, come to the mask tool. You're going to be using the sew head where I'm using the mouse. So I'm just going to click and you'll be much more accurate than me because you have something to actually touch. Okay. There you go. When I'm done, remember complete region and now find something that is not covered by the mask, by the edge to edge, which this is the negative space between the row. Click, touch the edge to edge, accept. All right. So these two rows will sew. This one will not because it does not fit completely in my sew zone. So when I come to the transform or stretchy man tool, you can see that this is the only thing that will sew. So we're going to pretend that this has sewn out. Now I'm going to come to the reposition tool and I'm going to reposition here. Apply done full view. So you can see come into the two rows that will now sew out right click group. There it is. Come back to the mask tool. Create region, I'm using a mouse, you would go to sew head, and I'm going to come in here and click, click. Complete region, find something not covered by the edge to edge, which is right here. Touch the edge to edge behind my mask, accept. So you come to Stretchy Man, and you can see that now it's going to sew this. I'm going to come to the Sew Options tool in my sew bar, start, and I'm going to speed it way up so that I can see what it's going to do. And I always check my mask after I've generated it to make sure that it's going to sew out the way that I want to. There you go. Let's see what it does. And we'll see. So you see where it's going to combine both rows. It uh, finds its own path within those two rows instead of trying to sew one row at a time. It's going to go up and start the next row. There you go. All right, when it jumps over there, I'm just going to turn this off because you see what it's going to do. But I hope this helped you to set up a mask in more than one sew zone.